All right, so here I'm gonna go ahead and start another um, tutorial. This time it's gonna be solving the string problem, which is a rather cryptic name, but basically all we're doing here today is we're doing somewhat like a cast to um, um, strings. So in order to do this, we need to include another uh, include uh, library uh, on top of what we already have we're going to go ahead and include the SS stream or S stream rather which basically stands for string support a string object is not a native uh, C++ data type therefore it cannot be converted to a regular data type by casting okay and in our main function I'll go ahead and uh, declare our variables put the variables in here we have a basic string called term, which we'll call at 100. An integer number, we assign a value of 100. And here are various um, uninitial, uh, uninitialized uh, variables, including a string stream. And to exercise the stream, the syntax looks like this. So what it's going to do is it's going to load the string. Um, this, that being term, and then it'll extract the integer. Um, so it's going to look like uh, this, uh, parentheses, well not parentheses, but um, the ones with the quotes to those without the quotes. And to output it, and to do a little bit of math, we're going to do this. So it'll treat num just like um, an integer value. Next, go ahead and uh, put do this. Okay, so we're going to do a couple more functions here. Um, so this stream string uh, right here uh, dot str will empty the contents, and then this clear will empty the bit flags. A non-empty string uh, stream object has bit flags indicating that it's a status is good, bad, end of file, or fail. But we won't get into that. We just gotta clear everything so we start with an empty slate. Next up, we'll do the conversion again. This time we're gonna load an integer in there, this being 100, and then we're gonna extract a string into text into this variable right here. Now, text is gonna be assigned to this now, um, because it, and it's going to look like 100 to the quoted 100. To exercise it, we're going to go ahead and uh, do these statements right here. So it'll be uh, text plus equal this string, text being now 100, and then we'll add in some additional C outs to structure it a little bit. Let's go ahead and run it. So integer integer value of 25, yes. So uh, this originally this was a string. Now we pulled turned it into a. Now we assigned it into this number variable, and it works just like an integer because 100 divided by 4 will then equal 25, which is mathematically correct. Down here, string value plus then we output the string 100, and then it adds a string. So it works like that. And to do a little bit of proof concept here, I'll go ahead and do something like this. To show now, if this was a uh, integer, this would add up to 200. You see out. Instead, it it behaves like a uh, a combined string two times. So yes, it does indeed uh, be. Get become converted into strings and vice versa, and that's basically what the um, string uh, the string stream support library is for, and that's basically how we resolve the string problem.